I'm Kimmy Chappelle. I'm a PhD student at the Evolutionary Studies Institute at Wits University and I'm 28 years old. I've been working on a specific South African dinosaur for about six years. It's called Massospondylus and it's the most common Southern African dinosaur that we have. And as part of my master's research and my PhD research, I've been looking at different things. And one of them was looking at how it grew. And one of the specimens that was named Massospondylus um, was studied a few times and we included it in research and had been published. But every time we looked at it or did more analysis on it, it sort of stuck out. And eventually, the more we studied it, the more we realized that it's actually not Massospondylus and it's a whole new um, dinosaur genus and species. So it was found in 1978 by Professor James Kitching. Um, who's a notorious fossil finder um, for S South Africa. So we chose to name it Nguevu in Kloko, which is Kosa. And Nguevu means grey and Kloko means skull, so it means the grey skull. And the reason we named it that is because for years, all the people who came here and looked at mass spondylus or dinosaurs, they used to affectionately refer to the specimen as the grey skull specimen. The first time I saw it, I mean, it looks different. So I thought, no, this thing is different. And I had seen the skull because it had been published on, but then we actually, I found in the cupboards, there's a whole skeleton associated to it. And the more I looked at the specimen and the skeleton, so it's not just the skull, then I found all these little differences that actually make it a whole new genus. And that's very exciting because it's, for a very long time, all the dinosaurs we have in South Africa were named Massospondylus. And now we're learning more and more and more about how many different dinosaurs we actually had. So this is the skull of, of Nguevu and Tloko. It's a complete skull, so we have both lower jaws. When we CT scanned it, then we looked at the, the, the shape of all the individual bones. So there's one bone, there's one bone. And then we compared it to all the other dinosaurs of its family, and we found a lot of, of differences between it. I mean, there must be hundreds and thousands of fossils lying in collections all around the world that either have been misidentified or haven't even been looked at yet. Obviously, as paleontologists, we love to go digging. It's one of the best parts of the job. but. A lot of the stuff that we have just under our feet here in the collections also is still need to be worked on.